Hey guys, so this is Nirmal here for Technique and today we'll have a look at the new Gmail app for Android. So that's the version 5 of the Gmail app. So it comes with a host of new features. So let's analyze the features. So first up it has support for uh, the new material design which comes in the Android Lollipop or the Android version 5. So Gmail app uh, is being now re-released with the new material design and it's available for almost all phones. So in case you have not got the update, you can download of the APK from the link in the description of this video and you can install it on your Android phone. So we'll uh, see other features. So, so one of the important aspects of this new version 5 of uh, Gmail app is that it supports other email accounts uh, unlike previously which it used to support only Gmail. Now we have uh, support for Yahoo, uh, Outlook, uh, AOL and other uh, proper IMAP services. So that's uh, one excellent feature which has been added by Google along with the new material design. Uh, so let's go, go ahead and uh, try this uh, app on our um, uh, android uh, smartphone so we have installed the app so here we go so this is the new uh, gmail app so that's the new gmail app so when you open it you can see the new uh, in gmail there's a video you can watch it uh, to see all the new features so let's go ahead and uh, click this uh, button so here we have uh, what it does is it picks up uh, all the account which you were previously using with gmail so th so these were the email accounts which I, uh, I was using previously on the gmail app so that that has been listed here now you can see uh, there's an option to add another email uh, address so if you click this uh, you can see uh, you can either add a google account uh, that's a gmail or the google apps or you can add a personal imap or pop account that's yahoo outlook a uh, aol mail etc or any other email account which supports imap uh, or pop that can be added so in case you are planning to add uh, a new outlook account we'll show you that method so first let's go ahead with the existing account so let's click here so we are selecting uh, this account um, so take me to gmail so that's the uh, so that's the email uh, uh, interface so here we have a few things uh, which uh, is important uh, in the new design so first of all you can see uh, there is a compose button here so you can quickly access the email so if you click here you can see the direct compose window happening uh, here so here if you have multiple accounts you can choose from uh, these multiple accounts and uh, you can use the uh, this compose window to directly compose without having to select any menu so that's the quick compose option uh, then uh, you have the search option at the top so that's again you can search emails uh, you have three uh, the options here that's uh, the lines available here so this is where you select the folder so you can see here uh, the primary account the social the promotion items so those are the uh, the three folders which we de de by default have then you have the start items uh, uh, then you have the important send outbox uh, and all the folders which you have created so that's the way it configures now what uh, it does is you, you can see the profile here if you just swipe in uh, you can uh, see that it will switch to uh, your second email account which has been configured so we have two email accounts configured and you can just swipe in and uh, access uh, them directly from here so we'll just show you you can just uh, swipe in uh, from here and uh, change the account that's pretty easy option now uh, what uh, what if you want to add a uh, new account so what you do is uh, here click here you have the option add an account or you can even manage the account you can delete an account from here if you don't want that particular account to show up on in the email app you can delete from here or you can add it from here so click add as and now you have the option to select so say for example we are going to try out an outlook account on this uh, gmail app so let's select this so now you need to enter the uh, email account so first uh, the email address so let's start off typing the email address so once you type in uh, the uh, the email account you can see manual setup or you can directly set up configure using the uh, automatic setup option so manual setup if you go uh, you can configure the uh, account via per pop or imap so then you have to enter the default values uh, the incoming server details outgoing server say for example if you select uh, once you sign in you need to select the incoming uh, server details outgoing server then uh, the authentication um, all the all those stuffs you are render now if you go to the um, uh, next step that means automatic setup uh, you need to sign in with your password so let's uh, enter the password here so now it's validating the server details once you enter the password so there you go 
uh, now you can select the swing frequency so there is no configuration uh, settings you have to enter manually or everything is configured by default this is for outlook we did uh, you can do the same for the yahoo and other services but in case you have a custom server which supports proper imap then you have to manually enter it here that is the only option uh, in case you want uh, your email account to be configured manually so now we have configured uh, it automatically so you can see sync frequency you can uh, select um, every 5 minutes every hour every 10 minutes 15 so a lot of options are there you can even manually sync it so you can see the notification notify me when a new email arrives sync email from this account automatically download attachment when connected to wi-fi so these are the options available now click next so now it's creating an account so now you can uh, select uh, uh, the display name and uh, the name you can give for this account so this is these two are optional uh, so this is this is uh, what is displayed uh, uh, when you type an email so that's uh, how you configure so now you can see uh, the three accounts are now configured now it will start the sync process and uh, you can see once the sync is complete uh, so you can see all the emails from that uh, account uh, will be available here so you can see now we have the uh, the third email account and the other two accounts are showing up here with the uh, the number of 100 emails uh, showing up here and you can see all the labels and stuff like that so just uh, swipe in from here and you can access that particular uh, other email so that's the way you access uh, different emails so this is a really uh, beautiful designed uh, gmail app this uh, is now it's much more fast and fluid and it has um, uh, new features like to compose then you you can configure outlook uh, and even other services like yahoo and um, other pop or imap accounts so that's the gmail version 5 with the material design so in case you have not got it from the play store you can just download uh, for the apk from uh, the link in the description and uh, get started with it so this is compatible with almost any android phone out there uh, and uh, you can get this design uh, with the new gmail app so that was the new gmail app from google uh, it's, it supports uh, almost all every accounts and uh, comes with a material design so if you have any specific queries on this just drop a comment and we'll be glad to help you out with the queries hope you like this video if you like this video don't forget to hit the like button subscribe to youtube channel for more updates and thanks for watching this video